So I'm going to kind of assume that uh, this video is for, for, for if you've already like installed ARKit, you've got it running with Xcode, you've put in your ARKit remote, um, and, and we're just going to kind of adapt this current project to ARKit, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, like I'm going to import the ARKit, uh, the, the plugin. And um, I guess I guess the the first thing we're going to do is actually create some prefabs out of out of our already set up uh, uh, ARKit uh, camera from one of the examples, and and then and then use those prefabs in a new scene with with our prefabs, kind of like a way of like merging two different you know two different uh, projects in a way. Yeah, so we'll have a look. I'm just going to take care of a few of these little. Um, this little uh, this documentation that's come with ARKit. I'm just going to pop that in the ARKit uh, uh, folder, open it up, go to examples, and then we'll just go to the ARKit, ARKit scene, Unity ARKit scene. Open that one up. And all we're going to do here is we're going to create in the root ARKit folder, we're going to create a, a prefabs, prefabs folder. And we're just going to drag our camera manager and our camera parent into into that folder, and now we've got everything that we need to get our ARKit running, except for the ARKit remote connection, and we just need that for using the using the uh, the remote app. And now we can create a new scene, and we'll just uh, we'll, let's see. Uh, no, I don't want to save that one. Uh, we'll save it straight away. We'll just call it. Uh, ARKit, ARKit, and I'm going to save that in our. Um, I'll save. I'll, I'll just save it in the root and just pop it in our in our scenes fold, uh, scenes folder. Um, the first thing you might notice is that we've lost our skybox that we were using. So we can first of all just just make sure we put that back, and then we can drag in our um, our own our own our own uh, our prefabs. Uh, for, uh, actually, just the one, just the world prefab, um, and yeah, and and then and then and then just use those uh, those uh, those AR kit those AR kit uh, pl uh, prefabs. So so we we'll just go with the the camera manager, the camera parent. I'm just realizing now that I I put the uh, the remote in the in the old scene that we weren't saving, but yeah, we'll put that in, we'll put the remote in this scene. <clears throat> And yeah, and when we uh, drag in our camera manager, it's actually gonna uh, it's gonna look for a camera that's not there anymore. So we just gotta make sure we attach our camera to the camera manager. And the other thing we gotta attach it to is our in our world in our portal our portal window. It's also gonna look for the device that it's gonna make sure you know to compare against, um, uh, to figure out whether whether you're going through the portal or not. Okay, and so we've hooked that up. Um, one more thing we've got to do to our, our camera is at the moment the clear flags are depth only. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to, sorry, I just remember I'm going to remove my main camera. And when I remove my main camera, you'll notice that, notice that it's black on the inside and the outside. It's because by default in ARKit, it's like, oh, you want the whole world to be uh, the, 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 camera, the camera background. But we don't want that. We want it to be the... Uh, the uh, when we tell it to, we want it to be the skybox. So in the clear flags of our camera, we're going to set that to skybox, which means that when we are drawing the skybox, it'll be skybox, and when we're not, it'll be the camera, uh, the general camera background. Other thing we've got to do with the camera is to get those collisions. We're going to add a rigid body. Uh, we're going to turn off gravity. We're going to turn on is kinematic. We're also going to add a box collider. And we're going to say yes, it is a trigger, and we're going to do that same thing. We're going to make it a, a really long, skinny one. So 0.01 on the uh, width and the height, and and one on the one on the z. In fact, yeah, now one, yeah, that should be fine. You can see here, you can see here that um, yeah, we got that. It's kind of it's kind of looking looking pretty good. The, look at that clipping plane. Oh, your clipping plane is at 10 centimeters. I'm going to put that clipping plane. At, see that clip, like the distance between the sensor and the where the camera starts. I'm going to put that point 0.01. I'm going to make that even smaller, so you could get really close to an object before it disappears. You know. Um, and 
let's see. I'm, there's always, there's always like with all this hooking up, there's always another thing you forget. But as as soon as you hit play, it lets you know very quickly uh, what what you've forgotten. Actually, yeah, the one thing I just remembered is I'm gonna move the portal a little bit closer to the a little bit closer to the device so that I don't need to, you know, like I I don't have to walk through a wall to demonstrate whether it's working or not. I'll hit play. See how see how it's coming along anyway. All right. So let's see how okay. So yeah, so we got our we got our regular world, uh, and then we got our uh, we got our AR world, our our other dimension. Step through. There we go, and it's just it's just flipped. So now I can look around through the portal. I can see I can see this regular. I don't know if you can still hear me, but yeah, through the portal I can see, and then and then I can look around. Got this other world, and now we sort of got this uh yeah this. This this AR AR app working quite nicely. I want to see I want to see if I can. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to. You won't be able to hear me. I'm going to walk outside my room and see if I can get a really good look at the portal from from another angle. I don't know if the cable will reach. We'll find out anyway. Yeah. No, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so that's all working quite nicely. Um, yeah. Oh, there's there's plenty more for plenty more we can go with this. Um, well, one one thing that I absolutely got in mind of uh, a friend of mine and I was speaking about uh, the sorts of effects that you could get. You know, like the sort of like you know uh, uh, ripples or, or or what have you. Like any kind of like you know as you step through the portal, what what sort of how you want to make it feel like you're actually stepping into another place. But yeah, but yeah, well, yeah, I don't, I'm not not sure where it'll go. Just keep checking out the the playlist. I'm sure there'll be more videos coming.